If someone says something racist and does something racist, does that make them a racist? And the answer, of course, is yes, unless you donate money to the Tory party, in which case every Tom, Dick, Rishi and every other gammon-faced slug will come crawling out from under their rock to defend you with some of the most unhinged mental gymnastics seen since, well, the same gang of dinosaurs defended Lee Anderson last week. The latest racist to deny being racist after saying something racist is Tory donor Frank Hester, who said some truly diabolical things about Diane Abbott that I will not repeat in this video. And someone called Lord Marland, who's one of his old buddies, came out to defend him by saying he is not a racist, he just made some unfortunate remarks that do sound racist. Yeah, he wasn't dancing, he was just moving his feet to the beat. Lord Marland went on to say he does a lot of business in Jamaica, Malaysia, Bangladesh and places like that, so he's not a racist. Mate, Hitler did business in Poland. Also, rewind, this Lord Marlon says Jamaica, Malaysia, Bangladesh and places like that. Places like that? These places are nothing like each other. Unless, of course, you mean that most of the population there are not white. Because when even the defence of a racist has something a little bit racist in, I would question the validity of that defence. And this is not some lefty, woke, cancel culture witch hunt. This is calling out blatant racism in comments where Frank Hester said that Diane Abbott, and I quote, should be sh but still, it took the Prime Minister over 24 hours to admit that these comments were racist, while simultaneously saying that Hester's remorse should be accepted, as it seems, should his cash, which Sunak refuses to give back. Why are they so weak? Is it because the Tories have boiled the piss out of pretty much every single subsection of society at this point, so the only vote they can hope to retain is that of the racists? Because it doesn't matter what you think about Diane Abbott. When those in power refuse to call out racism, they normalise it, and that is dangerous. And as the general election campaign ramps up over the coming months, in the spirit of transparency, I would like to see every single Tory party advert come with a warning. The following broadcast was paid for by a racist.